Today we are talking about paleo pumpkin spice pancakes. Okay, so this brand is by um, Birch Benders. Now, um, it's kind of a weird name, but let me just, let me, let me I wanna talk about the simplicity of this. I wanna say that they do have other flavors, but the reason I'm talking about pumpkin is because I am a pumpkin cessed total white girl. Like, I will go to Starbucks in the middle of spring and be like, yeah, I'll take a pumpkin spice latte, please. You know, I, I love all things pumpkin. Um, I know I'm kind of in the wrong season for pumpkin right now, but I am hunting out uh, a gingerbread edition uh, or something uh, for Christmassy next week. So Merry Christmas to y'all, happy holidays. But back to this. So let's talk about these pancakes. Now I like the paleo line and that's specifically because I eat a primarily paleo diet. So what does that mean? Paleo diet, it's kind of a fad diet nowadays. But what paleo means is it's, it's generated from the paleolithic days. Like the caveman diet is basically for short. So if you were a caveman living in, in Narnia or wherever, whatever caves they lived in, uh, if you could not catch it with your spear and your little toga on, like it was off limits. So the things that kind of fall into the paleo diet that would be meat, that would be nuts, that would be veggies, that would be pretty much anything you could catch in the wild. Like, just think of that. So that eliminates things like processed foods, um, processed sugars, uh, coffee, but I drink more coffee than I should. I've had like three cups today, low key, not that many, but I've had a lot of coffee today in case you couldn't tell. So um, that's the one thing that I would say is probably on the, that I don't follow on the paleo guidelines. Otherwise, the paleo diet is something that I highly recommend because it's a great way to get a lot of protein in your diet um, while still getting the micronutrients that you need from veggies and fruits. So that's why I like the paleo line so much. It's gonna be less dairy and it's gonna be more protein. So we're gonna go through the macros on this and um, talk about it. Uh, let's start with the calories though. So this package alone uh, has 10 servings in it. 10 servings, that sounds like a lot. Yeah, and the best part about it is you, you only have to add water. You don't have to add eggs, you don't have to add oil. And that's important to the paleo diet because you wouldn't, you wouldn't have oil or like eggs handy to crack in the bowl, right? So it's quote, caveman approved right? So, um, serving size is two pancakes and in that is 140 calories, meaning there is only 70 calories per serving, uh, or excuse me, 70 calories per pancake. So 140 calories in a serving size. Uh, you only have six grams of fat and of that it's only 1.5 grams of saturated fat and you don't have to worry about any added eggs or fat coming from that, you're good to go there. There is zero trans fat, meaning the rest of it comes from unsaturated fat, which is good fat. Fat is gonna, that is going to help aid fat loss. Um, you have 17 carbs total in two pancakes, which normally pancakes are loaded with carbs. So that is extremely low, um, especially since there is three grams of fiber in here, and uh, zero added sugars, less than one gram of sugar total. So um, what that means is there's only 14 net carbs and no added sugar, and it tastes like pumpkins, what? So that's along the lines of the paleo diet where you're avoiding that sugar, you're getting the low fats, and last but not least, you have protein in here. You have six grams of protein, 